everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on my makeup collection. I've recently got the new Ikea Alex drawers so I've sorted everything out and got into sections so I thought it'd be easy to show. Ignore the burn. It was a really really nice day in uh, the UK yesterday. I mean it, it was peeing it down now but yesterday it was really really nice so it's a disclaimer because not showing off in any way. My makeup collection is absolutely nothing compared to some, uh, what some of the YouTubers have got on here. Everything I've got I've either bought myself or I've been bought or a gifts slash things. So let's get on with the video. So let's start off with a little overview of my vanity slash dresser. The dresser I have is from Ikea. It's the mom dresser. I used to keep most of my makeup in here but now I've got the Alex drawers. I do have a few of the Muji drawers that I keep some of my everyday makeup in and then I've got my Alex drawer set up right there. So we'll start off with my everyday stuff that I use. These are, these are my brushes, I've got them in the, I, they're like plant pots from Ikea but many YouTubers have them so and I'm really sorry. Uh, I did clean my brushes but I've used them this morning and they're getting, they do get quite dirty quite quick but some of the brushes I've got are the Zoeva ones I have a lot of the Real Techniques brushes the Bold Metals Real Techniques brushes I've got some like Estee Lauder ones I got in a pack but they're not that good really they're just, they're just pretty to have on display This little egg shaped thing here I just slot my phone in the top and it amplifies the sound of the music when I'm getting ready and these are the wider draw acrylic Muji drawers to, to set. I can't, I can't, I've had them years. I've had them since I lived at my mum's. So in the first drawer is just my everyday sort of what I tend to go for. So my everyday go to foundation tends to be the Revlon Colour Stay. It is a little bit light for me at the moment as I've got a little bit of a tan, but it's absolutely brilliant. The concealers I go for are the Lasting Perfection concealers and the Maybelline um, Eraser Eye Rewind. I absolutely love this. This is Rosie Huntington Whiteley, Rosie for Autograph. It's the cream contour, contour stick and it's absolutely brilliant. And I, I basically use it every day. I use the Rimmel London Primer every single day. The bronzer I tend to go to is the Bahama Mama by the Balm. I do my eyebrows with the Deep Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the colour medium brown and then to emphasise my eyebrows make them look a little bit more sharp I use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot you'll have seen all these in all of my videos then underneath are just some of my favourite blushes like the Peach Party by Soap and Glory I think these are absolutely stunning they're so pigmented, they're so shiny and nice I've been going for a pink blush lately, it's, it's, it's Frat Boy by The Balm and that's what that looks like, I've been using that a lot as well and then another from Rosie for Autographs um, Translucent Setting Powder it's absolutely brilliant, I use it every day to set underneath my eyes and Rimmel's Matte Perfection to set the rest of my face then I've got two candles set out and this is my mirror and next is the five, these are the narrower drawers from Muji I think I got this lipstick stand off Amazon Amazon, I can never say that right and I got this lip liner holder from Amazon as well mainly the lip liners that I use are mainly Barry M I've, I have a few of the NYX retractable lip liners as well and I've got a couple of the Max Factor lip liners as long as you staple the uh, MAC lip liners as well then on top these are my well basically I put these on top because they're like goldy coloured lipsticks and um, my all time favourite lipsticks at the moment are the Rosie for Autograph lipsticks I, I'm absolutely loving them, they're so creamy, they smell so nice and they've been in a few of uh, well a lot of my tutorials and I think the packaging's just stunning rose gold so colours I've got are Look of Love, Silk Rose, Nudie Mink this one's nearly gone because it's, well, it's not nearly gone but it's most used Supermodel Kiss which is like a deep 
a deep red. Then next we I've got some Estee Lauder ones. I got these out of a Christmas pack once. I just think they're so stunning packaging as well. I've just adjusted the lighting a little bit. I hope you can see it a bit better. So um, behind that I tend to have all my L'Oreal Paris uh, Colour Riche lipsticks behind there. And then I got the Tanya Burr um, Advent Calendar and I've got just some lippies behind there and lip coat as well. So in the first drawer holds all my MAC lipsticks. I've put this Makeup Revolution one in the end because it's similar shape. I have my baby lips, I swear by them, and my Nivea, some Diego de la Palma lipsticks. Topshop ones, which I don't, I don't like it when the packaging goes all grotty. And a few limited ones there. And in the next drawer, I class as my, my liquid lips. Oh, where's my NYX one gone? Sorry about that, there was a misplaced one. I, all, I, I, have, I do have a lot of makeup, but I know when something's missing. This I've been wearing a lot lately, it's the NYX lingerie in the colour embellishment. I'm absolutely loving it, just look at the pigmentation in that. It does dry matte and it stays on all day. I've also got a few of the Makeup Revolution Salvation. Um, I've got all the lip lavas from I Heart Makeup because I absolutely love them. And I've got a few Stila lip glazes there and some more lip liners in the back. Next is like some more like liquid lipsticks slash lip glosses. I absolutely love these Maybelline's 24 hour stay ones. I've got three of those. I've got the Rimmel Apocalypse NYX Liquid Sweet Suede. I've got that on today. A, a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Two of the Lush Fresh Handmade um, Liquid Lipsticks. Limited Gloss. Estee Lauder I think. I think, yeah, Pure Minerals, Autograph and Elf at the back. Then in the next drawer are some more lipsticks. I tend to keep my like black packagings in here. So I've had these years actually. I've got a few um, Elf ones, which I used to love all the time. A few Avon ones, a Revlon one, some Autograph matte ones and quite a few MUA ones. I do like the MUA ones. And then in the bottom drawer, I've got quite a few of the I Heart Makeup Bullet Lips, which I just think the package is so cute. I think they're only a couple of pounds. And then I've got a Soap and Glora Sexy, oh, Sexy Mother Pucker. And I think these are gorgeous as well. So that's it for my lipsticks. So these are my Alex drawers. I've just got a cute little bird cage in the background. And I put some of the IKEA LED lights inside and a Yankee candle on the front. So this is what the Alex drawers look like. Ignore the dirty bin at the few foundations in here. At the front I've got Max Factor Face Finity. I've got quite a few of the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hours in a few different colours depending on when I'm tanned. Rimmel again wake me up. Bourgeois 123 Perfect. L'Oreal Paris. Infallible Sculpt, True Match, um, a couple of Barry M ones I think, yeah, Autograph, L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte, Maybelline Dream Velvet and I think there's a MAC Studio finish in right at the back, right at the back there and then right at the back here I've got MAC Fix Plus uh, Makeup Revolution Setting Spray and Primer Spray, a little tiny Diddy Professional Benefit, Estee Lauder Double Wear, the Lightening Drops by The Body Shop, Baby Skin, which is my favourite primer, uh, One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory, I've got the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique Base and the Nivea for Men Sensitive that everyone's jumping on the bandwagon with. I've also got some Collection Sheer Loose Powder and a Spare Match Perfection Loose Powder as well. So that's like my base slash face drawer. The next drawer is my concealer slash bronzer slash highlighter drawer. I've decided to hold my camera now so just finding it a lot easier to show. So I've got all my concealers along this side. So I've got all the uh, Lasting Perfection concealers, Bourjois Healthy Mix, Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour, some 
uh, Makeup Revolution ones, a Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer, a few of the NYX, NYX concealers, HD concealers, Maybelline Fit Me, Wake Me Up, Rosie for Autograph and Bourjois. That's actually not a concealer. Well, it is, but it's like a brightening concealer. It's actually... It's actually purple when you open it up, but it's really good as that. And then some brightening concealers in the back. I've got Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch, Brighten by Topshop, and a Lumi Magique by L'Oreal Paris. Right at the back, hiding here, I've got the Studio Tattoo Colour Tattoo 24 by Maybelline for the eye primer. I've also got some a tiny little bit left of the MAC Hush and um, Elf Complete Coverage Concealer, which I think I've seen at better days. Bronzers, I've got the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. Too Faced Blushing Bronzer. I've got the Bronze and Sculpt Contour Kit from MUA. God, it's really hard to open one-handed, and this has got like highlighter. It's got bronzer and highlighter inside. I really like that. Um, an Elf Bronzer. A, a rosy for autograph bronzer stunning packaging infallible sculpt bronzer this isn't actually a bronzer it's like a foundation from sleek but it's that dark i've been using it kind of like a cream contour um, an autograph bronzer, limited bronzer, bourgeois chocolate bronzer, some very dirty makeup revolution press powders, but I can't do it out these are brilliant. Some NYX finishing powder HD in the colour banana, some kick ass instant touch re uh, instant touch powder in totally translucent, and then onto oh, some like loose bronzer pigment from BM Beauty. I've got the Pure Minerals Bronzer Slash Highlighter uh, MAC Light Scapade. I've actually hit pan on that. I've got the Mary Luminizer. I've actually also hit pan on that. Sobs. I've got the Glow All Out by Soap and Glory. That's like a pink highlighter. I've also got the Bronze Shimmer MUA, the Me Makeover Essentials Bronzer. And hiding in the back, I've got Kick-Ass Concealer, a tiny little bit of High Beam Benefit, and my favourite highlighter palette in Solstice. The colours are absolutely amazing and they're so pigmented. And I've also got another sleek highlighter, which is like the cream highlighter. This is the Precious Metal, and that's what those look like. The next draw is my eyebrow slash eyeliner slash mascara slash pencil sharpeners so the eyebrow palettes i've got is the hd brow palette in the color vamp i've also got a model co a brow bar to go by whitening lightning the brow powder palette by pixie petra i have a little one there as well but that that little sample made me buy the big one i've got the brow archery from soap and glory two and one brow the rosy for autograph i think it's natural two brow i've got the revolution aqua seal liquid eye primer i've got a little um primarky really dirty eyeliner i've got the Collection Work the Colour Eyebrow Kit, a Tanya Burr Perfect Brows, which I think is such a cute little palette. And then hiding in the back, I have a an autograph eyeshadow kit. I don't know why that's in here, it doesn't really live in here, I'm so shocked sure I said nowhere else to put it. I've got the MUA Pro Brow and the Wonder Brow that I just keep down there many mascaras because they, t they do tend to go out of the date i've got some little eyeshadow pans there i think i've got that eyeshadow one there because they're there i don't know so i've got the scandalized show off by rimmel a little better than sex mascara a max factor false lash effect my favorite mascara false lash telescopic by l'oreal paris a Diego de la Palma, a collection one, a little benefit bad girl lash, uh, pure minerals in a big and a little one because that did used to be my favourite mascara till I figured out the telescopic. A pure minerals one, I've got brow and lash gel, glam eyes from Rimmel London, Maybelline stay matte, I've 
got a limited liquid liner. I've got bloody all sorts in here, and I think that's Barry M. Yeah, Barry M liquid liner, Barry M chubby pencils, Calca Coal pencils, NYX um, jumbo eye pencil in milk, uh, Pure Minerals volume vixen. That should be down there, and just some Revlon color stay ones, Model Co. Um, no idea what that is. <laughs> Barry M ones and then I keep some of my single eyeshadows here and then I got these two like colour pigments from Tanya Burr's um, calendar all my Barry M d dazzle dust uh, glitter eye dust uh, Bobbi Brown Bobbi Brown long wear gel eyeliner and the Maybelline New York long wear and this is the best um, sharpener I've ever had it's Barry M one and it even fixed fits the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in there. The next drawer is my blush drawer where I do have like a random box of like lip products in here because basically I've just got nowhere else to put them. So these are like a rip off of the Too Faced blushes but they're exactly the same. They do the same thing and they're so pigmented. And I've got the highlighter as well. The highlighter is stunning. I've got some of the Milan Baked Blush. I absolutely love these. They're so cute when they come. My favourite is Luminisco. And it opens up like that. It's so stunning. But what I find cute about uh, Milan is that I don't actually use them. But it comes with a little mirror and a little brush inside. I just think that's so cute. I've got some of the L'Oreal Lip Blushes. They're, they're like the Milan. They're pretty similar... Um, formula and they've got a little brush in the bottom as well hiding in the back are my box of blushes so i've got coralista by benefit hula honey queen africa um honolulu and there's a pure minerals lava rocks um two of the w it's our 17 boot 17 like pressed blushes um well my hands are away sorry an elf blush pure minerals blush autograph blush um, this is a I Heart Makeup Blush and right in the back I've got my big um, Elf Cream Blush which is a bit dirty now, I've had that a while. Like my lip care, so I've got my Vaseline that I actually put on my eyelashes every night and I pop on my lips every night. My Burt's Bees, my Bubblegum Lip Scrub and um, the Charity Pot that you get from Lush as well. Figs and Rouge Balm, that's quite nice. And I've got the Nux um, Rev de Mel Lip Balm, and this is brilliant as well for your li lip care. I can't really make up, but I do do my nails a lot. These, these are my nail polishes. Now, this is all my collection, and um, I am quite proud of it. And I absolutely love painting my nails. So all up this side you see are Leighton Denny nail polishes. They're absolutely stunning. Um, they're a bit more of a luxurious um, buy. These are the Tanya Burr ones that you got out of the advent calendar. There's a Taylor Morgan one there. Um, and all these up this side, all these are all Barry M. So these are your normal Barry M's, your glittery like Christmas Barry M's, your gel finish and your effects at the back. Uh, this is a new one for me. Rimmel Super Gel, which you mix with that one, that's the Super Gel. Yeah, so I don't, you can't really say much about uh, nail polishes, but that is my nail polish collection. Next is on to the bigger drawers, and in these drawers are my makeup palettes. I absolutely love my palettes, I've, I've, I'm really bad for buying them all the time. So at the top I've got Makeup Revolutions, um, Fortune Favours the Brave palette. This is a new buy for me. I'm going to do a, ma a makeup video on this very soon, but it's absolutely stunning. Um, I did post um, an Instagram photo the other day, but how stunning is that? It's only $9.99 as well. Another palette that I tend to use a lot is the Nuditude from The Balm. This is just a nice everyday palette. So this is the Nuditude palette. I do tend to use that every day. A little tiny Z palette with two Makeup Geek blushes in. My absolute favourite palette in the whole wide world is my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. Just look how stunning and well made this is. I featured this in a few of my videos and I just can't get enough of this palette. I loved the palette so much. I got the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette as well. I just love the packaging of them. They're just so luxurious. Um, there's a Rosie for Autograph little eyeshadow palette. Tanya Burr, 
um, fairy tale eyeshadow palette. I used to use these every day. <laughs> these naked naked basics palette. Um, as you can see, I've started to hit pan on that one. I use the naked two basics more than the naked because I I got them the wrong way around. But you can see that's well loved and well used. I've got the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, which I've not used that in a while as well. But as you can see, I've hit pan on the uh, Heaven Quality. Oops, I am making a mess. I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette, which I absolutely love. I want the peaches one after of that at the moment. Urban Decay Naked Palette, so cute. I got this for Christmas, I don't really use it, but it's so cute. It's the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau, and you get three little um, eyeshadow palettes in it. Which I think, how cute Next are those? draw is also more makeup palettes. Um, I have a Sephora bag in the back there. That's just got a load of spare makeup brushes in it. Um, I keep all the black eyeshadow palettes slash contour palettes in this drawer because I think it just looks the nicest. So we'll start off with my favourite contour palette. That's the Kat Von D Shade and Light. It's well loved, it's well used and as you can see I've hit pan on a couple of the colours but this is the best contour palette I have ever come across. You will notice in this makeup collection that I do have a lot of contour palettes because I'm not constantly on the hunt for them. I always like to try new ones out. So I've got the NYX contour palette as well. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express for brows and eyes. I've not used this in about a year. I've got it's absolutely minging, like it's minging now, but this I I use this palette when I first started doing my eyebrows properly. Um, I've also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Light. I think this is proper well used, that one. I've got is the Diego Della Parma. Do I really need this many contour kits? Um, I always seem to hit pan on the banana powder for some reason. A recent addition is the Sleek um, Cream Contour Kit. I've hit pan on two of the colours already, but I couldn't recommend this palette anymore. I think it's something like £10. How stunning is that? I've got a little Sleek Blush palette down here. Lace palette. That's some stunning colours for summer. And then all these palettes, God, I've bloody made a mess. All these palettes are my Makeup Revolution ones. I've got my Makeup Geek, Makeup Revolution, um, I think it's something Angels, Eyes Like Angels. I've got the um, Ultra Eyeshadows palette, um, Salvation palette, Ultra Base Correct palette, Ult Ultra Contour, another Contour palette. Um, highlighter palette. Can I just stop to show you this highlighter palette? How stunning are those highlighters? Oh my god! And then all these little ones, a little sleek palette. Get further down the drawers. Um, it's more of like my hair, like my hair care and my deodorants. I've got me. My dry shampoo that I swear by. The very last drawer is all my um, heat stylers like my Remington Pearl wand, my GHDs, the waver one that I did a tutorial on last week, my hair dryer, um, I've got that Babyliss Curl Secret down there, my chopstick style. Last but not least in my actual vanity I have my skincare slash random oh. I never realised how hard it actually is to film the whole of your makeup. Yes, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed it. That is my whole makeup collection. It's not as big as some, but I'm quite proud of my little collection. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and there'll be more videos to come soon. Please subscribe to my channel. Also like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. Um, links for all my social media will be in the description box below. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed your video and I'll see you later. Bye.